Um, this is something that really, as a mum of a two-year-old, it does concern me. Um, where do you stand on it all? I think these people are dangerous. Um, Which, who's quite these frankly, people? The people um, within Stonewall, organisations like Stonewall that receive taxpayer-funded cash, I think these types of people are dangerous. The ideologies that they spew are extreme, not really founded in any sort of scientific reality. And the fact that they want to then push that extreme ideology um, onto children is concerning. And I think the people perpetuating this narrative shouldn't be anywhere near children. Um, might sound harsh, but I'm sorry, it's the truth. The idea that a two-year-old has any clue about whether or not they're trans, let alone complex topics such as gender and sex, is quite frankly ludicrous. I have um, a two-year-old niece as well, she was just with me this weekend. It's completely bonkers to suggest she has any idea about gender identity and sex. So why are grown adults pushing their own extreme beliefs onto children? Um, there was a story recently um, about Girl Guides publishing um, an interview with, with two parents who um, had um, a child, a five-year-old child, that started identifying um, as a girl. Now, that child has decided to refer to themselves as Rainbow. That's their female name. Don't mean to be harsh here, but anyone with half a brain cell would understand that even choosing a name such as Rainbow suggests that these are childish fantasies and childish delusions. It may be that when they grow up, they may still feel as though they're, they're in the wrong body. But as a child, adults should not be entertaining this and then responding with things like puberty blockers and gender reassignment surgery.